Anthony, obviously, uh, you know, first night, uh, and just your impressions of how things worked out for you guys on the floor as you guys pulled away. Yeah, I think we played well. Um, there's definitely some times where um, we wasn't getting enough stops or um, we wasn't doing the little things, but overall, um, I'm happy to how we came up. With having you know 22 fast break points, what's what feels different for you guys on just you know being able to um, play a bit faster like that? No, we got a lot of depth on the team. Um, that's something that coach talked about a lot. Um, and like we said, we're a real athletic team. Um, and that's what we like to do. We want to play fast. We want to get out and try to wear teams down. And, um, I think that's what we did tonight. You guys yeah. took the lead for good in that on that first half run. You got a 12-2 run, a bunch of turnovers defensively. What was the difference? Um, really wanted to, we really wanted to lock down and guard. Um, I don't think we did our, our best tonight, but we didn't really have too much film on them. Uh, I think like Coach already told y'all, so um, it wasn't no excuses. We just, we just got to guard the ball better and look at film and see how we can get better from it. This is Mason Viner. Listen to the Young Terps podcast on CapitalSportsBlog.com and TerpTalk.com, the number one rated Maryland sports podcast. What did you think of Drew Louder? Number three. Number three. Oh yeah, no, he was so really like no. Al Iverson. No, I don't know about all that. But he, <laughs> he, he he was no, he was really good though. He was really quick, really could finish. No, he he really he really he really played tonight. Um, a lot of respect to him. Yeah, and um, Daryl and the other guys came in. You you know, Mark left you in with those guys. What what was the difference with that group and especially with Daryl? Yeah, no, he definitely came in and gave us that spark we needed. Um, he definitely came out really aggressive. Especially on the defense end, something that he always does, and um, um, he definitely uh, gave us that run that we had um, as soon as he came off the bench. And being out there with Eric as opposed to some of the other guards, whereas you know you guys both kind of thrive with the ball in your hand, bringing the ball up court. Just how does that kind of change the dynamic of the offense versus having, say, Daryl at the two or Aaron at the two? Um, yeah. I think Eric did a really good job. He, he he distributed, but he also he also shot the ball. Um, he also was aggressive on the offensive end. Um, but I think we both feed, feed off each other. Um, I think that's that's good when you have two guards that can really do that, especially in the backcourt. What fell off with you guys tonight, just with you know three point you know shooting from behind? Yeah, um, it was the first night. A lot of jitters. Um, kind of it usually happens, especially on the first night, especially. Um, for a team like this, who has a lot of young guys on the team, but me included, um, we just we didn't hit we didn't hit shots. Um, but that just also shows how how how, how good is our, our offense is this far. We shot what five for twenty seven from three and still put up what 80, 80, 95 points. Uh, that's pretty good. Impressions of the freshmen, the energy they brought on the floor tonight. Yeah, a lot of energy. Um, the twins really gave us that um, that that big aggressive aggressiveness that we need down low. Um, Dante came in. Um, and definitely, I think he had a, one of the nice pullback dunks, one of the best I've probably seen. I was, he was pretty high on that. Um, and then Akeem definitely came in um, and gave us a big minute. So um, it was good. To, it was good to see. Um, whenever you can, you see you see the younger guys coming and really contribute. Um, it's always it's always good to see. Yeah, uh, last year, uh, Jalen got off to a slow start. He sometimes would just disappear. Tonight, he got to a slow start and took over almost. Is there a difference? Do you see the way he sort of? Came? Can, can sort of turn it on uh, yeah. and, and realize that he might be the best player on the court at times. Yeah, he's going in front of everybody's eyes. Um, like you said, that just that just goes from him maturing um, and him really and really trusting the process. He understands that it, the game's not always going to go his way, but he also understands that we really need him as a team. Um, so he's understanding that, and like I said, he just, he's just matur- maturing. What was more exciting, uh, what you guys did or what your sister did today? Oh yeah, she did that today. I was proud of her. Uh, she probably surprised herself a little bit, but no, nah, that was that was exciting for the family to see. I mean, I'm proud of her. And by the way, she had 25 tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited. Anything else, Brad? If you've been hurt in a truck crash, call the Jackridge Law Group. We have decades of experience handling truck crashes. We recognize issues unique to trucks, including black box findings and DOT regulations. We find insurance others don't know exists. Some think the only coverage is with the truck, yet we've found millions more insurance with the broker. It's important to collect information, find representation immediately. Truck cases are complex. If you've been hurt in a truck crash, call 855-BIG-DOG-1 right now.